Welcome everyone to another video on my channel by Dr. Pilot of Pi. And before I get started comparing Bing Maps with Google Maps uh, on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, make sure you press subscribe and press that uh, bell uh, icon so you get notified when I post new videos. And I just wanted to do a comparison video side to side comparing how, to, you know, flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator with Google Maps versus the Bing Maps. Okay, so that mod, all you need to do is Google MSFS 2020 Google Maps GitHub. You're going to get a link, go to releases, and download that zip file. May, after you download the zip file, obviously, to any folder, make sure you unzip it. And once you unzip it, you're going to get something like this, a bunch of files inside. This run.bat, you have to highlight it, and you have to run it, right-click on it, and click Run as Administrator. It is very critical that you run it as administrator or it's just going to tell you that's not going to work. You're going to have to run it that way. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to download those Google Maps while you're flying. Once this is done, you got to get a window that's going to tell you to run or stop. Just press start or run and it's going to work. That's it. Then you start your simulator afterwards. In the sim, this is what you need to do. You got to make sure that you go to the general options and you go to data and you need to have the online fu functionality to on, Bing data to on, even though you're using Google Maps, it's important to have this on, and photogrammetry to on, and then also for the rolling cache down here, you have to make sure this is turned off. Why? Because if it's not turned off, the simulator might use some of your cache from before, from the Bing data that you, that you downloaded, and it's not going to use the Google Maps. Okay, so these are the settings inside the sim. And then I'm going to go back now to my flight, and I'm going to resume in the air to show you side by side what the Google Maps will give you versus the Bing Maps on a flight from Fox Airport, Kilo Whiskey, Juliet, Foxtrot. Okay, we're going to fly a little bit southeast to Palmdale, that Kilo, Papa, Mike, Delta. We're going to fly over the Delta airspace, and then after that, we're going to break a little bit east. I'm just going to show you a quick comparison so you can get a taste, and it's up to you to choose whether to use the Bing data or to use the Google Maps with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'll be back in just a sec. All right, folks, as you can see here, I'm putting uh, Bing Maps side by side with Google Maps. And you can already notice the difference on the uh, far uh, left. You see those green, uh, looks like old data on Bing Maps, like green vegetation or something. Uh, on the right, it looks much clearer. And uh, you will even notice as we uh, progress in the video, uh, as you can see here down the river, uh, a little bit farther down, Bing Maps is completely out of date. The airport below us now is Palmdale, and Palmdale looks pretty much the same. Just remember that uh, when you use Google Maps, still Asobo is going to place those buildings above uh, the map, just like it would over the Bing Maps. Oh, look at that here. Look at the still circular, veg uh, circular uh, veg vegetation areas on Google Maps on the right. They don't appear at all on the Bing Maps on the left. And you can also see here those areas that are just completely different color on the Bing Maps, and they don't appear on the Google Maps. All right, with that, I'm playing the videos at three times the speed so that uh, you can really see for yourself a much clearer picture, you know, how uh, the Google Maps look when it comes to the roads, towns, and, uh, you know, rural areas, etc. And I'll let you be the judge uh, for yourself and decide which one you want to use. Just remember one thing. When, if you want to use Google Maps, you really do need to have a very fast uh, uh, Internet connection. And with that, enjoy the rest. And we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.